Hey guys. Um, I just kind of thought since I've got all my Blu-rays boxed up, you can see they're still not on my shelf yet, but I figured um, since I do have them boxed up here, I may as well just like dig through a couple of them, or maybe just this one, and uh, show you what I have in the box, or partially what I have. I don't have a whole lot of time to do this, but I figured, what the hell, I'll just, i never done, I haven't done an update, collection update or anything recently, and I figured this could be a fun way to see um, what I've got in my collection. And I figured I'd just start with the one, the box that was on top, and that is my S's through the Z's of my collection. And I'm assuming it's not going to be the beginning of my S's, but uh, a lot of my S's. Let's see here. Ta-da! Now, look at all that. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one first because it's got a nice back. Thor. This is the, I believe, is this a Target exclusive? With the back? I don't remember. Oh no, this is the Best Buy exclusive. Because they did the same thing with uh, Captain America. And, um, to be honest, I don't really like it that much. I guess that's kind of cool that it's got the first Thor uh, comic book, but the cover's okay. But, I honestly, I really didn't, I, di I got it because I didn't like this as much. I mean, look at that. That's that's okay, but I thought, the, once again, I, I don't like floating heads on uh, covers. And this was just a bust of Thor. I thought that was pretty cool. But, anyway... I don't know if I'm going to talk about every single one of these, but let's just see how long this takes me to get bored. <laughs> Super 8 with the slip. Um, I didn't love this movie. I mean, I enjoyed it, but, um, uh, shit, I don't know. I only watched it once, and it was okay. Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to talk about every one, but uh, here we go. Super bad. Decent. Superman Returns. A lot of people hated this movie, but I thought it was actually pretty good. I remember coming out of the theater when I saw it and thinking it was pretty fucking fantastic. I th actually think at the time I walked out of the theater, I thought this was better than Batman Begins. Although on retrospect, that is untrue. But I think I was just really moved by the performances. But poor Brandon Routh. <laughs> yep. I got that because my wife mentioned she might have wanted to see it. I don't even think she, we watched it. I hate that too, by the way. Even though it's Valentine's Day, I don't like those rental cover things. V for Vendetta. Now, I'm pretty sure this is my very first Blu-ray purchase. This copy of V for Vendetta. Back when I was living in Wisconsin with my wife, or my fiance at the time. And, uh... Uh, I had just, I had bought a PS3, um, this was 2009 in the fall, I think, and we had just moved to uh, Wisconsin for her school for, he was getting a master's degree, and um, I decided, I mean, I, I had avoided buying a PS3 for a long time because I had an Xbox and I didn't really care, I didn't play games as much anyway, but uh, the new game, uh, Heavy Rain, that was coming out for PS3 only, was coming out that following spring I think, and uh, I basically told myself, well, I'm going to do it, I bought a PS3, and I bought some games, and I bought some Blu-rays, because I had not had the ability to buy Blu-rays at the time, obviously, because I didn't have anything to play it on, but, so yeah, that's, <laughs> this is the first one I chose, I think it was seven ninety nine. it might have been 10 I mean, this is 2009, so it's obviously a couple years ago, Blu-rays might have cost a little bit more, but I think this was less than 10 bucks. but anyway, that was my first Blu-ray. Visitor. I think this is a blockbuster acquisition. So this is a, uh, yeah, this is a different case. Yeah, purchased case. This is a, this is a good movie. Did I put that on right? Yeah, I did. This is a good movie. Uh, people should check this out. Very interesting uh, take on a middle-aged man who's kind of, well, actually more than middle-aged, but, uh, 
gets thrust into a world he's necessarily comfortable with, but then actually realizes he prefers it. Um, the visitor. That has a double meaning, too, by the way. Warrior. We'll slip cover. Um, don't remember where I got this. Probably Best Buy. Actually, yeah, it was Best Buy, because I think it was one of the first times they did the upgrade and save, and I got it for $12 or something, I don't remember. I enjoyed this movie a lot when I first saw it. Actually, it's a little, a little campy. I mean, I feel like it's got that feel-good vibe to it, but... Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Titanic with the slip that just doesn't want to stay on. Bought this for 15 bucks at Amazon, maybe, actually. Didn't watch it. I haven't watched it yet. But uh, I got it. I actually watched the movie in a long time. Sucker Punch. I got this for $4 um, during Black Friday from Amazon again. It was Amazon or Best Buy. But I haven't watched this yet. I actually heard it's terrible, but I figured for four dollars it was a semi-popular movie. Okay. Water for Elephants. This is a recent acquisition. In the last month or so. I haven't watched it yet. The Town with Slipcover. Extended Cut. Um, I've only watched this once. But I remember liking it. Um, that was also, I think, Amazon. I think Amazon and Best Buy are where I buy most of my movies. Um, yeah. Take Shelter. This is actually a really good movie. Um, with Michael Shannon. I love Michael Shannon. He's a great actor. I like Jack Jessica Chastain, too. Um, but about a guy who... Uh, I believe he's... I don't remember. He's a construction worker or a supervisor at a construction site or something. And uh, for some reason, he he starts thinking the world's going to end. Or he's, he keeps, like, seeing things. And uh, it's one of those things where you don't know if he's imagining it. Or if it's happening and it's just no one else is noticing. Or Well acted. It's a little tense. And I can understand why people might think it might be a little boring, too. But um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the performances. Uh, let's see... We bought a zoo. I bought this from Amazon for like 10 bucks. And I got the slip cover. I pulled a slippity doo dah at uh, Target. Because when I got it from Amazon, it didn't come with one. And I saw it at Target and I bought something else, whatever, five bucks, and put a slip cover over it and uh, snagged it. Because uh, I've been doing that for a long time. WrestleMania just copied me. <laughs> just kidding. The Tree of Life. It doesn't have a slipcover, but I, honestly, if I'm being totally honest, I bought this at Best Buy right around the time they started doing their price match because I wanted to see if it would work. <laughs> and I believe, it, you know, because this regularly retails at Best Buy or in stores around like $20. And I think just the day before, I was looking at it on Best uh, on uh, Blu-ray.com, and it was like tw 22 bucks or something crazy. And then I happened to be in Best Buy like the very next day, or maybe it was like a couple days later. And I actually saw that they had it in store. And I checked Amazon, and it was like nine fifty. And I was like, ooh, fuck. I'm... All right. I, I checked it out. I did the price match, and this got this for nine fifty. I haven't watched it. Honestly, don't plan on watching it for a while. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those ex existential movies that I don't, honestly don't know if I would enjoy. But Terrence Malick, I like, um, the Thin Red Line, but also a very existential type movie. Uh, let's see, what's this? Is that Taken? Yeah, Taken. It's a good movie, for what it is. Do do Total Recall, this movie is balls. <laughs> Honestly, um, it's got a nice slipcover, it's got, you know, semi-decent performances in it, it's... It didn't need to be made. Like, I don't know. I don't think a movie that had so much action and like was 
like so like well done technically whatever has ever put me to sleep as fast as this movie. I literally fell asleep watching this movie. Like I'm not even joking. I fell asleep. Like it didn't bore me or anything. Like I was I just was, I fell asleep. The next thing I knew I was asleep. And I had to start I had to finish watching it like the next a week later. And I almost fell asleep again. And that intro too was I mean, I, well the intro plus the rest of the movie with all the friggin' lens flares. I I thought it was comical how often they used lens flares in this movie. It was amazing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's Total Recall Remake. Um, uh, and the real one. I think I watched this after it. Um, the mind-bending mind -bending edition. This is a, a good movie. It's cheesy, but it's good. It's way better than the new one. I usually like remakes to an extent that I enjoy them enough, but... That remake was terrible. To be hollow. I used to love this movie. I saw this in the theater with my dad and my brothers back in 1997. Let's see on here. 1999. Shit, alright, cool. Um, let's see. I can just take a glance in there. Well, I, haven't. I have not watched this yet. I should watch this tonight. I should make a point to watch this with my wife tonight. Damn it. <laughs> I remember waiting for this movie for so long because I wanted to watch it, but then I, it's, it's been sitting there. Obviously now it's been sitting in a box, but you know. Uh, let's see, can I guess what some of these are? What is that? Ooh, is that Trick or Treat? It is. This is a good Halloween movie. This is probably my favorite Halloween movie. This last Halloween, honestly, I, I, I was watching videos at the time, and I saw a lot of people doing the 30 days of Halloween and watching movies, and I really wanted to do that, but it's... October is a very, very busy month for me in my job, and I work, uh, you know, 70-hour weeks, um... 50 to 60, some really long ones. I work 12-hour days at least a lot in October. Um, and I don't get a I, I watched this on on uh, Halloween night, I believe. And uh, it seemed fitting. But this is really the only one I can remember watching. I probably watched Halloween. Maybe Halloween 2. But uh, this is the only one I remember watching because that m month is a blur. October is always a blur for me because I'm working so much. Um, but yeah, I like this movie a lot. I, I hear it's been getting some hate, like it's, where did I hear that? Am I making that up? Shit, I don't know, never mind. Ignore me. We need to talk about Kevin. Now, this is an interesting movie. I really thought this was a well-acted and interesting look at these kind of school shootings and uh, violence in America and, uh, like, what do you do if your child is a monster? Like, you know, was it bad parenting? Like, from the from the point of view of this movie, like it's there was this child was born murderous, and uh, it was an interesting account of what that was like. Um, I recommend it. People watching it, give it a rent. I think it's. I don't know if it's worth owning. Um, I honestly don't think I'm gonna buy this ever again. I mean, buy this, watch this ever again. Um, I also really, really don't like this cover art. Cause look at this. It's got the the blue the blu-ray band on the top there and it's got the blu-ray case oh, that's fucking stupid i hate it the side is plain and the disc is plain look at this it's like a uh, oscilloscope yeah movie is good but uh, i don't like the casing i think it's got some decent special features i don't remember where the fuck are they? Whatever. Anyway. Uh, let's see. What else is in here? That is Taken 2, which I have not watched. I only bought it because it was on sale. Like a weekend sale at Best Buy. For $12. The week after it released, I'm pretty sure. And that's why I was like, oh fuck, well I guess I'm buying it. Because I do that. Uh, what's this? 
Oh, the tall man. With the slipcover. I got this at Target. I remember because I bought this at the same time as I bought Argo and something else at Target. And I only bought it because it had a slipcover. And I had never seen it with a slipcover. But uh, this movie wasn't bad, actually. I think I got this for $10 or 15 bucks. I forget. Special features do they have on here? Nothing. <laughs> um, but it's not what you think, and I think a lot of people were pissed off about that because they thought this was going to be like a monster movie, and it was not. It's very different. It's an allegory, I say. I would, I would say for a different type of monster, I guess. Well, give it a shot. I believe it's on Netflix, so anybody should check it out if they're feeling like it. Oh, that's Ted. I surprisingly enjoyed this movie. It's a talking bear. It wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Well, let's see, what's this? Ooh, Seven Psychopaths. That was a good movie. With a slipcover, too. Which, this is one of the ones uh, that I remember seeing in the stores that had a slipcover, like, the initial week of release, like, seriously, and then the next time I went in, like, to Best Buy or Target or wherever I've been looking for them, it did not have a slipcover ever again. It literally was the first uh, wave. And even still, actually, I remember when I bought this at Best Buy, there were some right behind it that did not have slipcovers, so that was literally really short-lived. Um, so I'm glad I bought it. It's a decent movie. Uh, funny, interesting. Uh, great performance from Sam Rockwell and uh, uh, Colin Farrell, actually. And obviously Christopher Walken. But uh, I enjoyed this. Probably won't watch it again for a while, but I enjoyed it. Damn, there's a lot left. Okay, let's see. Look, Skyfall, The Sitter with a Slipcase, Sinister, Shame. This is a good movie. Um, I recommend this highly. Um, it is a uh, uh, difficult movie, I guess. It's, it's very um, graphic about sex and talking about sex and sex addiction. But what that also does to the um, social component of that and how, you know, someone like Michael Fassbender, uh, who would be, you know, addicted to pornography or sex or masturbation or also, you know, like obviously the title Shame, um, and how that's a taboo type subject. But uh, um, I like this movie a lot. I haven't watched it since I first watched it, but it was very well acted from both parties, Carrie Mulligan and um, Michael Fassbender. Um, but you guys should check it out. I don't know if this is on Netflix yet. Um, this is expensive, too. I think I had $20 when I bought it. It was like months after release. But I wanted to watch it, so. Okay, Snow White Huntsman source code. That right there is a social network with... Let me show you. I actually don't like this release because I'm anal about my covers and shit, and it's got this paper cover. I mean, a lot of people threw this away, and I honestly almost have, but this is the, like, cover without, like, just, just got that initial poster there, nothing on the back. So yeah, that's that, but I, I don't, I don't like the packaging for that. It just seems kind of dumb, but, you know, that's just me. Snow White and the Huntsman. A lot of people friggin' hate this movie. It was okay. I liked it. The graphics were good. Um, uh, Charlize Theron was good. Chris Stewart was serviceable. Chris Hemsworth was okay. Blah, 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 blah. I think I got a lot of hate because of the friggin' controversy with her and the director. Who cares? People do this shit all the time. It's a movie. Um, Troll Hunter. This is an awesome movie. This is an awesome <laughs> fake documentary about troll hunting in Norway. Uh, I recommend people check this out. It's on Netflix, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, uh, I really enjoyed it. Check it out. Seriously. Oh, uh, I'm almost at 20 minutes? Shit, okay, I'm gonna have to stop this. <laughs> um, I got a lot more in this box alone. I've got three more boxes. And I'm not even, I'm barely halfway through this box, so let's just do one final Twilight. Ooh, look, Twilight. <laughs> Truman Show. 
and Trouble with the Curve. Look at that. Look, that's three more movies. Shit. Terminator. Reason no release Terminator. I am not going to upgrade. You guys, all of you. Talking about, no, you need the best vision. It's just it's a movie. I don't care. This movie's okay. <laughs> this one's better. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to end this now because I'm, I'm just friggin' rambling now. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, I might do more of these. Prob ah, I probably won't, actually. But uh, because it's 20 minutes is a long time to get through half of a damn box of movies. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you watched all the way through this, you know, uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, I will actually probably have a package video later today. So see you for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.